Reggae music, old school Jamaican roots. The legacy of Uncle Bob Marley has kept it alive and kicking. We get the lowdown from one of Aotearoa's best, Catch a Fire. The origins of reggae was started with like early Rastafarian gatherings, kind of, kind of like church. Out of Menta, they come reggae. And it was basically in the, in the countryside in Jamaica, like in the back blocks, where a lot of farmers would come together and they would chant, you know, to, to rhythms, to African rhythms, drumming rhythms. And they would chant about what was happening in their towns, um, politically and socially, and problems they may, might have had or issues. A lot of Jamaicans don't listen to roots anymore, um, especially the younger generation. You know, they they like listen to dance hall and you know kick up, kick up. You know, and and they just they have this really really provocative style of of dance hall reggae. Nice to, nice to know you. Let's do it. A lot we see throughout the Pacific, Hawaii definitely. Uh, a lot of the Pacific nations have picked up on it, and Indigenous nations too. UK, Europe, America, some of the big spots happening, but like I said, everywhere, man. It's kind of cliche, David, but the music seems to transcend all of that. You know, they get it, they get everything that we're saying, even if they don't necessarily understand, they, you know, and, and they know all the words, albeit they sing with Portuguese accents, which is sort of Brazilian accents, but uh, but they, they, love, they love the music. And... I still think, you know, a lot of my favorite artists, even my new school, like, Gentlemen or Egyptian or you know some new school roots artists, they're all like pretty political, always on a political tip. In the early days we were pretty much a Bob Marley covers band. We were a reggae covers band, but most of our songs in the set were like most of them were Bob Marley, so we could play like three or four hours of Bob Marley back in the day, which, uh, you know, we used to pride ourselves on. Everyone after Bob was definitely influenced in some way or other. Ja Rastafari, man. And even though I love Bob and grew up on other classic reggae hits, I reckon Aotearoa reggae is in a league of its own. Kick up, kick up. Hey, hey, hey.